What's going on everyone? So if you guys watched the first day of Ultimate League and in particular the matchup between Ghost and Joel, then you might have noticed that Joel was running a pretty unique offensive setup where he was running a lot of shotgun spread and single back spread out of the run and shoot offensive playbook. Now, this was definitely one of the more unique offensive play styles that we've seen thus far this year in competitive play in Madden 18, and he had moderate success with it. Now, offensively, he honestly didn't need to do much this game. He got a pick six and he housed a kick, so he did get 14 points from his defense and special teams. And offensively, he definitely did have some growing pains, it seemed like, which is to be expected. It's his first time running a new offense on the big stage, live in Ultimate League, and he's also going up against the guy who just won the club championship a few days prior and go. So a tough opponent, plus the first time breaking out an offense on the big stage. You can expect some growing pains, but there were definitely some bright spots in this offense. In particular, I think it matched up very well against Ghost's style of defense. So I just wanted to take a look at a few examples as to why I think that is. Now, before we get into the first example, quick shout out to Cameron, Bradley Beville, and Baran Ahmed for suggesting to go over Joel's run and shoot offense. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. Now, for this first example, third and 20 here, and like I said, stylistically, I think this formation in particular matches up very well against Ghost because Ghost is the kind of player defensively that wants to send five or six guys, wants to send pressure at you and basically play old school Madden, turn it into, you know, I'm going to jump your first read and are you going to make your progressions quick enough and get off your first read quick enough uh, and throw the ball before you get sacked. So in this case, what Ghost is going to do, Ghost is going to go ahead and send six at Joel. You see the crossfire setup. Joel does a good job picking up the pressure and Ghost goes with a Tampa 2 back end on the crossfire. So you see the two deep half zones. In this case, you're going to have a flat zone by the cornerback on the left, cornerback on the right, right there, and then Ghost's user defender over the middle of the field. Now, what Joel does to Ghost's user defender is just like, you know, the super popular high lows out of, you know, something like Gun Bunch Week from the West Coast Playbook, Dig HB Out, Mesh Post. They both do a good job of high lowing the user defender. Now, in this case, all it is is now it's a horizontal stretch. Ghost's user defender has to pick. Do I go right towards the A receiver who's threatening the right seam because I am in that Tampa 2 back end? Or do I go left towards the receiver that's cutting across the middle on that deep crossing route out of the play? Uh, Joel's running circle out of gun spread right here, so that X receiver is running a deep cross over the middle of the field. Really, Ghost's user is in a lose-lose situation. Whatever he picks, Joel should be able to make the right read, and that's exactly what he does right here. Ghost goes for the right seam. Joel recognizes it, low pass to T.Y. Hilton, picks up 16 yards, turns it into a fourth and short, and he ends up converting on the next play. Now right here in this next example, you're going to see, once again, Ghost goes with a similar setup on defense. He's going to go ahead, send six, you see the six-man pressure coming, and he does make the adjustment. In this case, he doesn't go with the deep half on the left side, as you can see, his free safety now just sitting there watching the quarterback, not backpedaling like his strong safety is in that deep half, so that... That kind of indicates some type of hook curl, some type of hook zone right there that he's not playing a deep zone. So he's there to basically take away that deep crossing route. Ghost knows where he needs to be. He's running towards the hitch route underneath right here. But the great thing about this circle play is in this case, Ghost goes on the right side of the field. It looks like he drops this guy back into what may be a deep half. It might be a deep quarter zone. I'm not exactly sure, but it is a deep zone. You can see that he's bailing. In this case, that's what's great about this circle play, and it's a common way to attack these crossfire setups is to go with these deep out routes because those outside cornerbacks a lot of times are bailing deep, are bailing downfield, and the interior defenders, in this case, Ghost doesn't even have anybody allocated to the flat, but most of the time those interior defenders who are supposed to shoot out to the flat don't get there in time and these outbreaking routes by exterior receivers can have a lot of success on the sideline. In this case, Joel does a great job diagnosing the defense, noticing the corner bailing, hitting the out route right as he breaks. Easy 14 yard gain for the first down there. Now right here in this final example, you're going to see Ghost go back to that nickel 335 Tampa 2 that he had a lot of success with both in the Redskins Club Series and in the Club Championship. But stylistically it's going to remain the same he still wants to send that pressure so you're still going to see a six-man rush and something to note is in this defense i made a video on it he loves to hover over the offensive guard with his user defender so that even 
just prevents him even further from being able to get out there and kick out and defend those exterior receivers running these over the middle routes because of how far down into the box and just how aggressive he's playing and that's exactly what you're going to see right here you're going to end up seeing a six ru six man rush off the left edge right here from ghost joel does a great job of picking up the pressure and he actually rolls his coverage it looks like he rolls his safety into a deep third right there it looks like this safety's still in that deep half and then he bails this cornerback out into what looks like a deep third on the sideline so then he has the underneath flat zone right here and once again, his user defender is just in no man's land because of how Joel is horizontally stretching this defense. Out of this formation, the first two guys you would look to cover as a user defender are going to be the slot receivers. Well, in this case, look where Joel's slot receivers are at. He made both of them run just standard stock flat routes. So they're running to the flat. So now Ghost has nobody to cover. Ghost is basically just running around and hoping he guesses right on a route or hoping a receiver ends up running into him and what you're going to see here uh, Joel actually went with double flat routes and then double smart routed in routes and so what this is going to do is it's going to take advantage of the fact that Ghost was being so aggressive I mean on the left side everything was open he really didn't have anybody over there who was going to guard anything but it's taking advantage of the fact that Ghost bails his you know underneath help into sending pressure at the quarterback and so because of that he delegates so much of the field to his user defender and he's just getting horizontally stretched all over the place and he can't keep up he, he he just physically can't so right here what you're going to see joel go ahead and deliver on tempo the low pass to the smart routed in route ghost is running in that direction but as you can see the cornerback was playing a deep third so he's not going to be able to react, react quickly enough ghost not going to get there quickly enough and ty hilton going to go ahead and make the rack catch for a 15 yard first down and really if you rewind it and look at it he had both in routes right here on the right side. He could have thrown this one as well. The in route has the inside leverage on the outside flat zone. This safety is bailing. If Joel goes ahead, throws a low pass lead right around here, he could easily possession catch that. So really, Ghost's defense was not set up at all to defend this type of route combo. And this is something that in particular, Joel had success with. He ran this play two or three times throughout the game. And every time he was able to hit these smart routed in routes very easily with the low pass right as they cut on the inside. And it was really just because of the fact that Ghost's defense was so aggressive and his user was getting stretched so far horizontally, he couldn't keep up. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just thought this was a really cool offensive approach from Joel, you know, with everybody pretty much running West Coast or some variation of Gun Bunch at this point. Aside from only, you know, a handful of players, this was a very refreshing twist on the offensive side of the ball so i really wanted to make a video on it as always thank you so much for watching and until next time guys take it easy